Yes, I will. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm back out at it again today. It's uh, still got a ton of snow, <laughs> and uh, egg hunting has been a little harder because everything is kind of clogged up with snow and getting really cold. And uh, so, like right now, I'm heading to so I don't fall down snow. I'm heading to a beach, another beach. So that seems to be like the only places I can get to to find any agates. So I'm gonna head down there and we'll see what we can find. As you can see, got a lot of snow. It's pretty steep. Hopefully I don't eat it. It's so pretty though. Lake's calm today. So I should be able to do some wading in the lake as well. Oh my gosh, look at this tree. So pretty. Love it. Winter is beautiful. A little harder. But it's beautiful. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Check this out. That's some sweet banding in there. Pretty cool. All right, we'll get back to it. I've never been to uh, never been to this beach, so I've noticed a lot bigger rocks than normal beaches I've been to. So, some garbage here. Sure, grab that. Um, so hopefully we can find a big one because it seems to be how it goes. Bigger rocks, bigger eggs, right? <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Alright, we got a little one here. Okay, thank you, water. Small and banded. It's pretty though. Alright, check this one out right there. It's like gray. I don't know if I've found any gray ones. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's awesome. Sweet. Oh, hello. Just chilling. So, walking on slippery rocks here. <laughs> Not finding a whole lot on this beach. Um, I just, oh. <laughs> slippery rocks. Sick for a walk in the lake. All right, so I'm heading back. Um, get to the end of the beach. Gonna head back to the car. Not finding a whole lot on this beach. So, um, I'm gonna head to another beach. Because, um, I don't know, I did see some footprints coming down here, so maybe it just got picked. Um, like I said, last video when we had big storms, uh, people come out and comb the beaches because the waves kick up a bunch of new stuff. I'm thinking that's probably what happened here. I found a few little ones. I found a decent one, and then I dropped it in the lake, and a wave came in and I lost it. So, <laughs> that's how it goes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back. Go ahead to another beach. All right, so on my way back, just about to start heading back up. Found some stuff on the way back. I think might have one or two agates in there. Um, I think the big one, the bigger ones are Thompsonite. Um, they're pretty sweet. They kind of resemble agates, but they don't have uh, bands kind of like that one. They're a little more wavy. But we'll get going here. We'll head to another spot and we'll. Well, I'll take a closer look at these later.
Well, I stopped at another spot I've never been to. Um, does not look like there's going to be any rocks to look at here. <laughs> um, but what a beautiful spot. You know, these pine trees have all these icicles on and stuff here. Like, look at this walkway. It's pure ice. Like, I slid down like three steps on the way here. So I'm going to head to a different spot because this one's a bust, but definitely beautiful. All right, so I'm at another spot. Kind of got to walk a little bit. Just try to get down there. Got to pass through there and kind of hop down and walk over these rocks here. So I'm going to do that and put the camera down so I don't need it. So the waves are coming in pretty nice on this spot. And the sun is just cooking this spot. And you can hear the rocks are just, with the sun melting it in the, all that, they're just falling down. It's such a pretty sound. And pretty, uh, looks like it should be a good spot to try to find some stuff here, so we'll get going. Alright, well, on um, this little portion here, and then that little bit over there, not finding a whole lot. So I'm going to head to another beach here, um, try to find a bigger one so I have more to go over. So I'm at another spot. It's a little bit of a walk down there. And as you can see, I'm not the first person. So glad people are getting out, but kind of a stinker. Cause probably gonna be picked. But can't find them all, right? <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. So I'm walking. There's more trails coming in there. It's just, it's nuts how many people are. Come on, do this, I love it. Um, but definitely gonna be a pick spot. I was gonna go to another spot today uh, instead of this one for my last spot to go to. There's nowhere to park, like anywhere close. So I'm just coming to this spot where I knew there'd be a parking parking lot to walk over, but even that was full side so to park and walk a little ways, but man, so many tracks here, it's just crazy. So. Hopefully, it's not totally overpicked, but we'll get going here. I'm just about to to the beach. Probably can't, probably can't see it, but right there, it's a big boat. Super sweet. I've never seen the lake at this spot this calm, so I'm gonna wait in it uh, with my boots and see if we can uh, find some good stuff in there. But um, it's starting to get dark already, which is insane. Um, it's kind of how winter is going here, but um, yeah, we'll uh, try to get lucky. So yeah, right off the bat here, I can see just like these little like wood ticky looking things are just all these little guys are just like all over this beach here. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna start wading in the water because um, there's no waves here, which is awesome. All right, so I just found this guy. Um, it does have like light layers of banding in there, but it, f the texture of it reminds me of Thompsonite and I don't know, I'll, I'll have to look more into it, but it looks like, looks like Thompsonite. I don't know, maybe today's just the day to find Thompsonite, but yeah, it's got the pitting and everything back here, but I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll try to look at my, couple of my books here, see if I can find anything else. That. Yeah, just about to the end here before it becomes private property. So I'm going to turn around and walk towards the sun, which will be a lot better anyway. So, yeah. All right, so I got to the end here. I was looking up on shore, and I could see this thing glowing from down there. So there's some nice little bands on there. Pretty. Best find of the day. At least we found something, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't beat it today, um, even though it's been kind of hard to find stuff, you know, we're outside. Enjoying the weather, can't beat it. 
so I've made it all the way down uh, the beach here, um, waiting in the water. Haven't found really anything, a few little ones, nothing crazy. So I'm going to walk back and maybe just a different light I can find something. Um, I know if I walked on the shore I'd find um, some little ones, but I've seen a lot of footprints uh, through the beach. So I'm guessing if there are any bigger ones they're picked over, so that's why I'm going to stay in the lake here for this one. But um, yeah, I'm going to head back this way and hopefully we can find a decent sized one to show you guys. Alright, so I'm almost to the end here and I've decided to just go through the beach anyway. <laughs> just see uh, if I can find anything. Maybe I'll find a bunch of little stuff. I'll show you what I have found. It's a small handful of little stuff. I found a tiny little white one that's really pretty. But besides that I haven't found a whole lot. So I'll turn the camera on and show you. Alright, so the big one I think is another piece of Thompsonite. And then uh, pretty much these ones are the biggest ones I've found. Um, so I'm just going to kind of comb through this area here and I bet we find something. But I don't know how big. <laughs> um, yeah, it's alright. I mean, it's been an awesome day. I've been outside a lot. Can't beat it. So, Well, I was right. We did find something. It was like right as I got done with that. And I looked down and funny, right by my knee. Right here. See this little guy. This, that's pretty cool. Ooh, <laughs> that's awesome. How sweet is that? That's gotta be the best find of the day as far as banded ones. Can't beat that, that's pretty sweet. Ah, that's awesome. Cool, well, we'll see what else we can find. Okay, found another one. There it is right there. It's got some nice bands. And then as I sat and looked around, saw one over here. I'm starting to find bigger ones. Um, almost wishing I would have just searched on the beach the whole time. Maybe my thought of it being picked over was totally wrong. <laughs> so I just kicked through here to see if I can find anything, and I think we got one. That almost looks to me like a little moss egg. I don't know, let me know what you think. It's really waxy, but it's got a weird back, not a very normal like egg it's structure. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'll get a better view later. Well, I'm right at the end here. It's just about to head back and found this sweet piece of beach glass, which is very weird. That it's got a hole in it. Uh, I have no idea what that could be from. It's very neat. But I might head back. Alright, well, heading back to the car. Uh, yeah, weird day. <laughs> uh, first spot. Looked like a great spot, which I think would be a great spot in the uh, next summer. But, yeah, it's just hard. You know, the, all the rocks are covered with ice, and I'm slipping on them, and go to the next spot, I almost slip down some steps. <laughs> it's just, it's, you can tell the end of the season's getting closer, and everything's getting clogged up with snow and ice. And, you know, you can tell people are getting out a lot more, I see a lot more tracks, you know, at this spot, mainly, mainly with snow, but, um, yeah, it's, Getting closer to the end, it's getting harder to find them. Everything's a little more picked over, you know, but then when spring comes around, it'll be all fresh because the ice will push everything back up again and it'll be good. So I'm going to head back and we'll look at everything we found. I didn't, I was thinking I didn't find that much today. Little bag that I have everything in and it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty full. It's probably full of Thompsonite seen, since that seems to be the the big find of the day, all the Thompsonites, so. <laughs> but I'll get you better close-ups of that so you can see what that kind of looks like and uh, show you some of the other little ones of agates that we found. Alrighty, we're back. Got my bag of agates and Thompsonites, so we'll show you that. Alrighty, here we go. some of this organized again.
Here's that cool piece of beach glass we found. I don't know, it almost looks like a handle to like something or I honestly have no idea. Kinda neat though, it's got a hole in it. Here's that one that I was thinking it might be like a moss egg. I'm a little thrown, it's kind of, kind of goofy. But I'm leaning towards moss egg with that one. Here's kind of a cool one. This is, a, I think it's pronounced porphyry. Um, it's like volcanic rock that has crystals of, crystals of other minerals in it. I see this quite often. It's pretty cool, pretty cool to see, but um, I forgot I threw that in my bag, so it's kind of neat. So here's the smaller pieces of Thompsonite. Um, I'm pretty sure it is, because when I take my flashlight to it here, it's not translucent or anything, a little bit, nothing crazy. Um, but I'm not as common with Thompsonite uh, compared to, you know, other things I guess I'm familiar with. But they're definitely very cool, very, very cool looking rocks. They, they can kind of fool you sometimes because they have this sometimes similar pitting. Um, I'll show you the other bigger ones I found here. So here's the bigger one, which kind of threw me off because it had the quartz crystals in there. And, um, but when it goes from like the different colors and stuff, that's more common with um, what I've found with the uh, other pieces of Thompsonite I've found. And uh, I'm not as familiar with it as I am with like agates and stuff. I'm just kind of haven't really, hasn't been on my radar as much, but I think it's pretty cool, so I've been trying to look for it as well, but um, if you don't think it is, and you think it's something else, let me know, because um, I'm definitely not as familiar, like I said, with Thompsonite, uh, as with other stuff. And this last big piece of uh, Thompsonite here, it's got that potato skin. I think it's Thompsonite. I really, I'm really, not sure, to be honest. <laughs> I just thought this was a crazy rock. Um, looks pretty sweet. Um, it doesn't have the texture of agate. It doesn't have that quite uh, quite as waxy, smooth feel, but um, as, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you're familiar with Thompsonite, um, I've been looking through my books and stuff and nothing's really pointing me in any other direction than Thompsonite, but it doesn't mean it can't be. So let me know what you think on this one. All right, I'll move all the agates that we found up here. Kind of put some of the better ones that I found in a pile here. Yeah, I actually found quite a bit more than I thought. They're definitely, as it's getting harder and the beaches are freezing up and stuff, uh, it's getting a little harder to find the bigger ones, but you know, we're still finding amazing ones that have great bands like this guy. Like that's. That's pretty sweet, even for a little one. I mean, it's tiny, but it's it's pretty awesome. And uh, I know we found these like right at the end, at that last beach. Kind of neat. It's got some quartz in there up close on that one. That's pretty cool. Not bad. This little guy, uh, the banding on that's awesome. Found that one at the first beach. Awesome bands. And this is another one from the first beach. It's pretty sweet. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's got the white. I don't. I don't know what would that would be in there. Um, doesn't look like quartz. Doesn't shimmer or anything. It's just kind of matte. Um, but definitely a cool, cool piece. Very uh, water washed. Let's see here. This one is pretty neat as well. Kind of funky and then doo -doo -doo, yeah I think we got that one as well Let's see but this one right here this is definitely um, let me get this kind of wet here definitely the find of the day it's got the best bands um, that's awesome it's got you know down here water level banding which is always amazing but this side is just Phenomenal. I love it. So cool. So unique. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we found some pretty awesome stuff at those beaches. Uh, it's a little harder. Um, as winter's coming in, it's getting a little more diff difficult to get out. 
Um, I did want to show you guys something that I'm going to be working on this winter just so you know that the videos are going to keep coming out on uh, a weekly basis at least. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I'll be working on. Alrighty, so I got this laundry tub, some plexiglass, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these foam pieces, but a whole bunch of tools and this and that, there's a lot more stuff like hiding under this uh, unorganized pile here. Um, but let's just say I'm going to be making a lapidary well for polishing agates, so we'll be working on that. So like I said, that's something I'll be working on this winter. I'm going to make a video on how to make that well because there's actually pretty cheap to get all that stuff to try to make a controlled environment for polishing and stuff so hopefully I don't need to wear a respirator and worry about like silicosis and stuff like that um, so that'll be coming out here in the next few weeks as or I guess whenever winter decides it's a little hard for uh, to get out egg hunting and stuff like that so um, be sure to stay tuned for that thanks for watching thanks for coming along with the adventures I love taking you guys with me um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. There'll be some more coming out here. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.